so I'm Maddie, um, Magical Maddie 8. This is my first YouTube. I also am on TikTok and Instagram, and I'm working on growing my following. I just wanted to kind of make this video as like an intro video to who I am, what I'm all about. I am 26. I am happily married to my husband, Dylan. We have a small farm in South Carolina. I've been married since 2018. My husband is in the military. I work for a hospital, but luckily I'm able to be remote. I did meet my husband on Tinder. It's kind of a silly story. I absolutely love Disney. It is just, it is home, it is comfort, it is fun, it is therapy and it's a big part of who I am. I love The Little Mermaid. She has always been my favorite character. It's always been my favorite movie. I'm tearing up, I'm ridiculous. <laughs> but I feel like with Disney, like one, it's been such a great community. Everybody that I have met through like, you know, my solo groups, the Disney Junkies group on Facebook, has been so nice. And I have made some lasting friendships, which has been great because I work from home. We move a lot. I'm kind of a homebody. I also have a small business and then I deal with a lot of medical issues. I just became an annual pass holder in April. They released on my birthday, so I figured that was a sign. Since I got my annual pass, I have already had two trips. They've been kind of solo-ish trips, um, more of like a room share. The first time I went with my mom, super fun. She stayed back at the hotel when I went to the parks. And then the second one was last week, and that was with a friend I made in the Disney community. Uh, Tiffany and she was so great. We did our solo time, but it was nice to have somebody there and like meet up within the parks. So that was a good time. I have always kind of dealt with depression and anxiety and it went years and years and years undiagnosed and untreated. So a way that I have been able to like cope with a lot is for my love of Disney. I have been multiple times and every single time there's still something new I haven't tried, something new I haven't seen. Uh, the parks are always changing, so there's different like experiences every time. I try to do new, different things each time. There are things that are like I tried and true. I go and do every single time because I just really, really enjoy it and I don't get tired of it. But there are some things like I try to do a little bit this trip, a little bit this trip, and I try not to do the exact same things um, and repeat pretty much the trips over and over to keep it fresh, keep it new, keep it different. I went in May, I went in June, I am trying to see if I can go in August, all depending on my surgery, and then I'm shooting for the first week of September with a friend. I'm really hoping that she's able to come because that would be a lot of fun. And I'm trying to look for maybe October, November, or December, I don't know yet, I'm trying to work my husband's schedule to be able to do a trip together. We only got me an annual pass this year because it is the first time of me getting an annual pass. And at the previous duty station he was at, he was not allowed to leave very frequently and we had just gotten here in November so we kind of didn't really know exactly what to expect when it comes to like taking time off. He was always on a recall at Fort Bragg so we were never able to go more than two hours away from the base at any given time. Most of the time. Sometimes it was eight hours. Every once in a while it was 24 hours but for the most part it was like between two to eight hours and Disney is eight hours from us then so we didn't want to risk it so a lot of the times we were only able to make quick trips or if we went it would have to be like a quick escape route to be able to get back home if need be but um this job seems to be going a lot better so he doesn't go to the field anymore he doesn't have to jump out of airplanes anymore he doesn't have to be on like recall for deployment because we did go through to a deployment together and that was very hard on our relationship. I'm new to this. I'm trying to learn all about YouTubing. So if you have any questions about what it's like being a military spouse or any questions about Disney, I've only been to Disney World. I would love, love, love to go to all of the Disney parks one day. But for now, uh, Disney World is my home. And I have a few travel agents I've worked with and they have all been so great. So they're constantly teaching me something new. So if you need any recommendations on travel agents, they are free and they are so knowledgeable and so helpful because planning a Disney trip is so stressful. When I, we went back in 2021, it was right after COVID. Everyone was kind of getting their footing about like mask mandates or social distancing, all of 
that and the parks had just reopened not too long before we went and we had a scheduled in two weeks because my husband never knew if he was actually going to get the leave um, or was going to be able to take off or be able to go because right before COVID happened, right before his deployment, we had a trip planned to go to, back to Texas to see his family and we already bought the tickets and at the last second they said, nope, you can't go. So it was very unpredictable. We never knew what to expect when we were there. Last minute trips and everything, like it's just, it's just constantly changing and everything is so new. I'm so happy this time that they have the character meet and greets back and they're doing autographs. That's so much fun. Just let me know what y'all want to see. I have a couple of video ideas lined up, but if there's anything like my collections you would like to see, I do collect pins, I do collect ears, I do collect lounge fly bags, I do collect Funko Pops, I have a million and one Disney t-shirts. If there's anything like that, anything about the farm you want to see, anything about the parks, anything about the military life, just kind of let me know what y'all would like to see and I would be happy to show y'all. I am an open book and I live my life and I have no problem sharing just about anything as long as it's respectful. So just let me know what y'all want to see next and that's it. That's me. That is Maddie in a whole nutshell. I live a pretty basic life, but it's sprinkled with a little bit of magic with Disney. So that's it. I love y'all. Thank you so much for listening to me and have a great day.